Yeah, welcome back to the last and final step of um, connecting the API management system from XP to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM system. And um, we have now a policy which is um, yeah, is handling incoming requests and doing all the necessary stuff to communicate finally with the CRM system. And um, as I would like to expose an API, an API manager and simplify it, we are now going to use that policy in API manager. When we have done this, we have added that API into our API manager. It is ready to be consumed and our policy takes care about the proper routing. And um, of course, now you have, let's say, your own API. You can protect it once again with your own API key from your own API manager system, system or even OAuth. And of course, you can now apply quotas to control uh, consumption by your clients or by your partners or whatever. And you can all the time monitor consumption per client. That's all things about API management. Okay, let's see how that works. And we are going back into the policy studio because there's one small final thing I need to do. This is my policy, which is doing basically the routing and decides where to send the client, etc. And I would like to make that API um, able to be consumed by the API manager or to be used by the API manager to simplify it. And in this section here, I tell the system to make use or to use that API as a routing policy. So I have already added it to, to the list of routing policies. And now I can go into my API manager web interface where I have already included or imported the Microsoft Dynamics CRM API, at least one method to play around with it. This is basically the API proxy where you can control how that API should behave. And when going into it, you see there's the inbound section and this is the place where you control how clients behave when talking to the API gateway. And this is the place, for instance, where you can decide, okay, once again, your front-end API should be protected once again by an API key, or you would like to have, once again, to see an OAuth access token. But we are interested in the outbound section when the gateway is talking with the CRM system. And in that case, I would like to make use of my policy. And instead of let the API manager by default route it to the backend, I would like to leverage my policy now and select it here and apply it. And now I have included my policy flow into that request handling. And now let's finally see how that works by using a browser and just take a private window just to make sure that we have to log in and that you see the, the whole flow. And uh, first, let me go back into API Manager because I would like to have the method. This is the method I have included. Copy that thing, go into the browser and enter it here. This is an OData API and I know I would like to filter for some information and that's why I add a filter expression at the end just to reduce the payload which is returned by the CRM system. And now you see how I am forwarded to the login page of Microsoft. We are now talking to loginmicrosoftonline.com. This is the authorization server and the identity provider. So that means I have to log in. The next thing which happens is that the for the first time, I see now as, as, the, as the resource owner, basically, that the API Management Dynamics CRMM, this is the name you gave to your app in AD, is asking you for accessing the CRM online system as you. And yeah, we would like to do that. And now your, your, the client or the, the authorization code is generated. It is sent back or it is redirected once again to the API management system. You see already how we are talking once again with the API management system and now we are waiting for feedback. And this is what the CRM system has returned as OData information back to the client. Yeah, when going now into the summary, um, just to conclude, um, we have now added an API 
in our API management system, which is really used for developers. You can add in that API management system your own documentation and um, use it use it for any kind of service, mobile apps, whatever. And um, <clears throat> We have used the Active Directory, an external, basically, authorization server um, to do the um, um, identity check and um, issue, finally, an access token. And, of course, now you have full governance of your API because it is passing through your APIs. You see the consumption and all that stuff. You have the flexibility to modify that API. And, of course, you can apply more security to that API if you want. Um, and, finally, um, if you would like to redo all that stuff, reach out to the marketplace xp.com because this is the place where you will find soon um, all that stuff I have used here in my API gateway in terms of policies. Uh, you will find the template about the, how to configure the client application and things like that. Once it is there, just search for Dynamics or Azure and then you should find that asset. Yeah, thanks for watching.